In this video we are going to know all about House of Villains Season 1. Recently reality television has witnessed a surge in popularity, and the latest addition to the genre, House of Villains, as the inaugural season draws to a close, fans are eager to learn about the winner, speculate on Season 2. In this overview, we'll explore the key highlights, the show's format, and, most importantly, reveal the winner of House of Villains Season 1. Reality shows have gained significant popularity over the last few years. House of Villains is a brand new reality TV show which started airing on 12 October 2023. People have found this reality show to be decent as it is quite entertaining. With the first season now ending, the fans have a lot of questions like who won this season, season 2 expectations, and more. We will try our best to clear all doubts by talking about all the intel we have on House of Villains as the season approaches its end. Johnny Bananas was born to be the supervillain of the week, as it was his third time winning the title in the first season of House of Villains. To apply for the second season of House of Villains, the contestant needs to have a history of being a participant in some reality show as well. People can watch House of Villains on E! and they can alternatively stream the show on Amazon Prime. House of Villains is a riveting reality game show that unfolds its drama over a single season, comprising 10 captivating episodes. Directed by the talented Zach Kozak, the production is a collaborative effort between Amazon Prime Video and Irwin Entertainment. The show's genre seamlessly blends elements of game show and reality TV promising an engaging experience for viewers. Hailing from the United States, the series introduces contestants to a series of challenges and games, meticulously designed to put their skills, wit, and strategic thinking to the test. With its unique concept and expertly crafted episodes, House of Villains aims to deliver a thrilling and entertaining ride for audiences. As an Amazon Prime exclusive, the series is readily available for subscribers, allowing them to dive into the world of intense competition and strategic gamma play their convenience. House of Villains, in short, is a reality show based on American television, where villains go against each other to come out victorious for a hefty $200,000 in cash, along with the honor of becoming the America's ultimate supervillain. The way the show works is by a simple procedure where all the villains who are participating have to go against each other. The winner proceeds to the next round, while the losers get eliminated. The one who is remaining at the end after the rest of the villains have been eliminated gets to be the winner. This show is a gauntlet of celebrities from different reality shows, such as The Bachelor, Bad Girls Club, The Real World, Flavor of Love, 90 Day, Fiance, and Vanderpump Rules. There are a total of 10 villains in House of Villains who have to stay together. The challenges they have to complete require the villains to use their mental and physical strength to overcome the obstacles they are presented with. The person who overcomes the challenges for a week gets immunity for that week and a chance to banish other villains by entering their names on the hit list. The nominees in the show get a chance to protect themselves by participating in a redemption challenge, in which winning can bring one of them some sort of protection from the hit list. When the time for the banishment ceremony arrives, the houses cast their votes to decide who will get eliminated after forming alliances to manipulate and backstab the villains on the hit list. At the end of season 1, it was a hard choice between Tanisha Thomas, and Fissa Arkopchenko, and Johnny Bananas. These three were the final villains left, and with Tanisha getting an automatic ticket to the finals, she was already a fan favorite, which made it easy for her to win the game. After the long journey of 10 episodes, Tanisha Thomas from the Bad Girl Club was declared the winner and the rightful owner of the title of America's ultimate supervillain, along with a $200,000 worth of cash prize. The winner was announced on the final episode of the season, which aired on 21 December, 2023. If you are still watching this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button to motivate us. Now let's we discuss about the final winner of the show. At the very end of the show, there were five villains left in the game, including Sheikh Chatterjee, Johnny Fairplay, Tanisha Thomas, Anfisa Arkopchenko, and Johnny Bananas. Since Johnny was the supervillain of the week, he got the opportunity to select three people to send to the Hydalist while saving just one. After protecting Tanisha and sending the rest to the redemption round, the other three competed in the redemption round, out of which Anfisa safely returned untouched to become part of the final three villains, along with Johnny and Tanisha. Out of these three Tanisha was then announced as the winner of the first season of House of Villains. The success of House of Villains season 1 definitely shows that the theme and formula worked well with the audience. This can encourage the showrunners to make another season for the show, as the theme does not need to be constantly revised and can work by just adding new villains each season from a variety of reality shows. House of Villains hasn't been renewed for a season 2, 
yet however we are hoping to see it return for a season too soon, based on all the audience reception. As far as we know to apply for the second season of House of Villains, the contestant needs to have a history of being a participant in some reality show as well. This is needed as the theme of the show is based around having villains from some already existing reality TV show, or the participant will not be eligible for House of Villains. However, this can change if there is some sort of application process that is required to be filled for a common man to enter as a villain as well. A total of 10 episodes were planned for House of Villains Season 1 and all of them are already released, with its thrilling format, diverse cast of villains, and a gripping Season 1 finale. House of Villains has left audiences eager for more. Whether season 2 is in the cards or not, the show's unique concept has undoubtedly made its mark in the realm of reality television, offering viewers a captivating blend of competition, strategy, and entertainment.